Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hold That Thought. My name's John Samuel, and I'm going to be your host. Hold That Thought is a podcast about redesigning the music industry. Over the years, I've had countless conversations about the music business. The majority of these conversations all felt like they were on repeat. The shuffle key was non-existent. I knew in order for everyone to grow, we need to have a more creative outlet. Thus spawn, hold that thought. An open format that discusses the daily issues of the work of musician, talent buyer, and venue owner. We strive to offer an alternative and more creative approach to solving your problems. We hope you enjoy. Hold that thought. This podcast is sponsored by CJS Productions. Music is our passion, and good music is meant to be shared. Find us online at cjsLiveMusic.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hold That Thought. My name's John Samuel, and I'm going to be your host. In this episode, we will be discussing your story and why you need to tell it. What does storytelling have to do with your music career? Everything. Fans of any genre become hooked because they have a desire to relate. Our brains value stories over anything else. Connections with potential fans are not made through the ego. They are formed from failure. The reason being, as humans, we are all flawed, each and every one of us. People will first connect with your messes before they connect with your success story. Over the years, I've seen too many phenomenal bands get caught up in the daily grind, and they completely forget to perfect and craft their story. Stories help form an emotional connection with your fan base. I know what a lot of you are thinking. My music serves as an emotional connection. It does but you also need a story. And the reason being is that in today's world, we live in an extremely crowded market space with millions of bands competing for gigs and for fan support. Your online story needs to touch, inspire, and fulfill a purpose. Without a relatable story, your song gets lost in the shuffle. So, how do we create a noteworthy story? Something that will help us accomplish our goals. First and foremost, we need to find out what our purpose is. That is key. I'm going to read a quick press release. This was issued by a popular restaurant group. This release went out to all of the local magazines and papers. I came across it in the latest Tampa Bay magazine. Here it is. Recently, our restaurant ended a long relationship with plastic, and we were relieved. This simple and convenient product we knew wasn't good for our community, but we couldn't stop. Plastic has undoubtedly made our lives more convenient. 
but at what cost? Our family has been involved in the community of Clearwater Beach for over 70 years. We welcome all of you to join us in saving our beautiful beach. We plan to be around for at least another 70 years. This story is beautifully crafted. Uh, this press release story, whatever you want to call it, it's beautifully crafted. It, it really tells the reader that, hey, we're guilty of taking advantage of the convenience of plastic. We did it. We're sorry. We want to move on. And we've decided to take our whole restaurant group and do away with plastic. They recognize that if they don't do this, Clearwater Beach might not be around in another 70 years. Were they late to the game? Quite possibly. Did they make the right decision? Absolutely. And they took that decision and crafted a story around it. And that is what this podcast is about, is helping you guys find your purpose and crafting a story around that purpose. So the key thing is, is once we have a purpose, then we can move forward. We need to find a unique and authentic way of communicating our story. Why should your fans be drawn to your music? What hardships have you guys encountered? More importantly, what can your fans relate to? Because once they find something to relate to, they're going to be more what they they are going to be more inclined to share your music because they can relate. There's a connection made. I came across a blog that was very informative and it was written about a keynote speaker and his name's John Bates and he came up with five C's that will help you craft your own personal story or your band's story. And these five C's are circumstance, curiosity, characters, conversations, and conflict. These five are going to help you develop a story that will coincide with your band's main purpose. I'm going to add this blog in the show notes so that you can read the blog, you can look over the tips, and you can have a guideline that will help you guys create your own story. I really, really feel that it's extremely important that you take time to create your own story. Separate your marketing marketing and branding from everyone else in town by having your own unique identity. And you, you can't do this through a Facebook post. You need to create a story. You can't do this by updating your website. You need a story and a story that people can relate to. I'm going to be crafting a story for both CJS Productions and for Hold That Thought. And I really am looking forward to sharing this with everyone. Before I head out, I, I want to pass along a quote that my friend wrote, especially specifically for this podcast. His name's Joshua O'Reilly. He's a singer songwriter based out of Dunedin. Each one of his songs tells a beautiful story. If you get a chance, listen to his music. And I asked him, I said, could you create something, a quote for me about why it's important? So not only do my fans hear it from me, but now they're hearing it from a local musician who knows how important it is to tell your story. Here's Josh's quote. People are seeking art and music to enrich their lives, to surround themselves with something more interesting than they care to provide through their own mind. As an artist, telling your story allows fans to identify with you 
on a more human level. Folks are more likely to spread the word about your art when they have something interesting to say about where it came from. We as artists need to provide that content. That quote was from Joshua Riley. I am extremely grateful that he took the time to put that quote together for this podcast. Go back through that quote in the show notes and think it about, think, really ponder and think about that quote. What is your purpose? What message do you want to send? Once you find that info, craft your story and share that story. Separate yourself from every other band in town by having your own unique identity. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hold That Thought. I look forward to bringing you more content in the near future. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, want to say what's up, shoot us an email at cjsevents1 at gmail.com. Follow the email at hold that 77 Twitter on Twitter. Like the YouTube video, subscribe to the iTunes podcast, and every little bit helps. I'm John Samwood, hold that thought, and I'm out.